Hi, and welcome to The Fun Accountant. My name is Dominique, and today I will be showing you how and where to adjust the leave of an hourly paid employee in Sage Cloud Payroll. At TFA, we aim to help solve business owners' problems with our free training and tutorials. Now, not all of the problems business owners encounter are earth-shattering. However, these little hiccups or gaps in knowledge do occur daily and they can be incredibly frustrating and time-consuming to solve and research. Today's video is a quick how-to of a common payroll question. Let's jump right in. A TFA client asks, how do I adjust leave for an hourly employee? Now, we are going to have a little math lesson where I will teach you the formula used to calculate leave entitlement and adjustments for your employees. If you're like me and cringe at the thought of mathematic equations, don't worry, this one's simple and I'll guide you through a practical example. You will first need to determine what the employee's actual hours worked are so that you may calculate the leave entitlement per cycle and adjust it for the individual employee in SAGE. I am logged into my SAGE payroll and we will now navigate to where leave adjustments and setup takes place. In the top white menu, select the leave dropdown and then employee leave details. You can select the applicable employee in the left side bar. As you can see, the entitlement per cycle in the annual leave section is adjustable simply by selecting the figure with your cursor. The entitlement for monthly employees is a standard 15 days. To determine the leave entitlement for an hourly paid employee, we will be using the following formula. Take the general monthly leave entitlement of 15 days and divide this by normal working hours per month, which is 173.2 days, to determine the hourly leave entitlement. So 15 days divided by 173.2 leaves us with quite a long number. But that's okay, this isn't our end goal, just leave that in your calculation. Take that amount and multiply it by the actual hours worked by the employee. So for the sake of this example, we're going to say the employee has worked a total of 120 hours for the month. So we will take our 15 divided by 173.2, which gives us that long figure, and multiply the figure by 120. The resulting figure is the adjusted leave entitlement for an hourly paid employee that you can then adjust in Sage Cloud Payroll. Before you leave, take note of this formula or return to this video in the future, as this formula can be applied for all leave types using the general entitlement figure for a monthly employee. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something here with me today. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you can keep joining us as we create videos to help you conquer cloud solutions and take your business to new heights. Easy, quick, precise.